Welcome, you two, to the Statue Awards of the Year 2021. I am your host, Astro, and today we're going to be talking about the best of the best, the top of the top, all the things that everyone loved last year in 2021. Now, before we get into all these nominations and the winners, I spent a lot of time documenting this stuff, putting these graphics together and things like that. So go ahead and smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now, what I will say is that we had over 550 people vote this year and I am beyond thankful for you guys. Way more than it was last year and it's only up from here. Give yourselves a pat on the back and a clap, a hand clap for such a awesome participation. So without further ado, let's jump into this award show. All right, so we got to start this thing off with a very, very top category. It's going to be best one fourth statue of 2021. All right, so I'm going to give the nominations, then I'll announce the winner, then we'll move on to the next one. All right, so. Let's start off. Nominations for best one fourth scale statue include Catwoman Michelle Pfeiffer by Tweeterhead, Harley Quinn Hell on Wheels by Sideshow, Thanos Avengers Endgame by Queen Studios, Big Game Predator cover art by Prime One Studios, Robin Samurai by XM Studios, Bane Premium Format by Sideshow, Deadpool Premium Format by Sideshow, Silver Surf from Premium Format by Sideshow, and Batgirl Premium Format by Sideshow. All right, those are some very, very nice statues, but only one could win. This one actually took me a little bit by surprise, but I don't think it was that much of a surprise to you guys because this statue was loved by everyone. And the winner is, the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman from Tweeterhead. Listen, this piece, I th for me personally, it was a sleeper, man. I knew it would be a nice statue, but when we start seeing it in hand, I didn't think that it would be that nice. This statue was freaking superb. The sexiness is there, the likeness is there. They capture everything about Michelle Pfeiffer. The base is lovely. You have the little cat at the end. This statue really worked, man. Uh, Tweeterhead, they're slowly but surely becoming one of our top, top, top statue companies. They revamped and uh, re rejiggered their entire organization, and it's working, man. It's, it's working. They're coming out with some heat. So, can't wait to see what this looks like next year. Tweeterhead is doing great work, but let's move on to the next category. All right, so this next category is going to be the best sculptor of 2021. We know that there's a lot of great sculptors out there, but I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say. So let's get into the nominations. So the nominations for the best sculptor include Tiago Rios, Martin Canale, Daniel Bell, Franco Calissimo, Emil Carfong, and Caleb Nefson. So we have some phenomenal sculptures here, some of which Daniel Bell, Caleb Nefson, Emil Carfong. These are some household names, man. Martin Canale, but there's only one can win. And the winner for this category is going to be Franco Calissimo is the winner. Listen, if you're hip to what's going on in the statue community, you already know that Franco is that guy. He's he's fire. He's really, really fire. I don't see a lot of statues come out from him uh, from a license standpoint, but man, if you follow his his art station, if you follow him and you see, you know what pieces he take he, he does and sculpts, he's one of the best of the best. And he deserves this 100%. So this is gonna be the best sculptor of the 2021 year, man. Let's see what else we got. All right, so this next category is actually one of my favorites. I love me a good uh, female sculpture, um, female statue that's gonna be sexy. He has, a little, he has to have a little bit of everything for me. He has to have the sculpt there, 
has to have that look, has to have the base, has to be good. But we have a lot of nominations here. So without further ado, let's get into them. Nominations for the best female statue include the Gantz O statue by Prom One Studios, Deja Thoris by Sideshow, Catwoman Michelle Pfeiffer by Tweeterhead, Batgirl premium format by Sideshow, Red Sonia, Prom One Studios, Magic by XM Studios, Harley Quinn Samurai by XM Studios, in Harley, Hell on Wheels by Sideshow. The winner for this category is an absolute sleeper. It's going to be Magic by XM Studios. Now, this statue here, I've spoken about this statue before. I freaking love this statue. I don't know a lot about Magic, but all I know is that XM Studios knocked this one out all the way out of the park. I think a very good statue does something like this, where you don't really know a lot about the character or even the license or the uh, the show, the, the movie, the whatever, but you just love the statue. That's, that's what the art is about. Whenever you can see a statue and appreciate it, even if you know nothing about it, I think that you do your job. You're doing your job well. But that's gonna be it for the, the best female statue. Again, this is a sleeper. I don't think a lot of people thought think thought that this would win, but it did. So let's move on to another category. All right, so for the next category, we're gonna get into the best base of the year. We got a lot of sleepers. I mean, the base usually sometimes makes or breaks the statue. So I think this is a very important statue or a very important category rather. But without further ado, let's get into the nominations. The nominations for best base of the year include Daenerys, Mother of Dragons by Blitzway, Deja Thoris by Sideshow, Thor by Legendary Beast, Batman Hush Batcave by Prime One Studios, Harley Quinn Samurai by XM Studios, and Gandalf vs. Balrog by Prime One Studios. Now, the winner for this category, I felt like I didn't hear a lot of chatter about this until the statue actually got in hand, and a lot of people really loved it. The base is freaking phenomenal and it's gonna be the Thor one-third scale statue from Legendary Beast. Now, I feel like Legendary Beast is really starting to ramp up here. I feel like in this past year, they've put out a few statues, the Thor, the Captain America, that really caught a lot of people's eyes. Now, they have more coming. We've yet to see them, but I'm very excited to see what they're doing because if they look anything like these museum lines, Thor and Captain America, I think, think a lot of collectors are gonna like it and gonna pick it up. But that's it for this category. Again, congratulations to Legendary Beast. Again, one of those companies that are starting to really ramp up. Sort of like how Twitter has done. Twitter is just a little bit a notch ahead of them. But uh, a year from now, we who knows? I mean, Legendary Beast may be putting out some very, very good statues and more of them. All right, so let's get on to our next category. All right, so for this next category, we have the best diorama. We don't have a lot of uh, nominations, but these statues that are on this list, this very small list, are freaking bangers, man. These are, I think you can consider some of these grills, um, at least two of them, at least. And uh, all of these are fire. They made a lot of noise this past year. So without further ado, let's do it. Nominations for best diorama include the X-Men vs. Sentinel Diorama by Iron Studios. JLA vs. Darkseid by XM Studios. X-Men vs. Sentinel by XM Studios. Now, the winner for Best Diorama is going to be the JLA vs. Darkseid 1-6 scale statue. Now, I've actually had the privilege of seeing this statue in person in 2019 New York Comic Con. Now, this is before it was painted, so... I've never seen it painted in person, but what I can say is that seeing it in person, it is freaking massive and that it has a lot of presence. It commands your attention whenever you walk in a room. Um, talked to, uh, I believe, Aang Singh at New York Comic Con that year, and uh, he was telling me about how um, it's just it was a lot of hard work and he was so ready to paint it and so forth. So it's a, it's a really cool statue. I'm a huge DC, huge Justice League, huge Dark Side person. So this is a, this was, I was biased. This was my favorite, but, uh, but yeah, what do you guys think about this? 
in the comments. What did you want or what do you think was the best diorama of this year? All right, so let's get to the next category. All right, now we're getting to the big dogs. We're getting to the top categories in my opinion. All right, so for this one we have the best one third scale statue of 2021. So without further ado, let's get into the nominations. The nominations for best one third scale statue include Thor by Legendary Beast, Batman Batcave Hush by Prime One Studios, Red Sonya by Prime One Studios, and Wonder Woman 84 by JND Studios. And now I think the winner for this is pretty obvious. It's gonna be the Batman Batcave Hush statue from Prime One Studios. We all knew this was probably gonna win. It won Batman Statue Collector Award Show. This statue clean shop it swept the floor um, when this came out i think I, I even had this statue on order at one point ended up uh canceling the order because it just wasn't gonna work for me looking back on it I, i'm thinking about a new direction i may want to go with my collection and so it kind of i don't know maybe i may try to chase this down again i don't know we'll see uh but this statue is freaking phenomenal that was the best one third scale statue. Let's get into the best statue of the year. All right, so without further ado, this is the best statue of 2021. After this, we have one more category, and that is the best company of 2021. But let's get into these nominations. The nominations for best statue of the year include Attack on Titan by Figurama. Batman Batcave Hush by Prime One Studios, Catwoman Michelle Pfeiffer by Twitterhead, Joker Orochi by XM Studios, Thor by Legendary Beast, Symbiote Spider Man Premium Format by Sideshow, and Gladiator Hulk by XM Studios. Another very tough category we have here. But again, no surprise, I think that we knew who this was going to go to. The winner for this category is the Batman Batcave Hush by Prime One Studios. Again, we already knew this was gonna happen. It cleaned house in the Batman Statue Collector Award Show. It cleaned house with mine as well. Prime One Studios put out a, a phenomenal statue and it's kind of making me start wanna go back and get this piece. This piece is freaking great. Um, I really, really love it. Really love what they're doing with this. And hopefully they continue with this line. I'm thinking about getting this piece Think about going back and, uh, well, not going back, but getting the uh, Wonder Woman versus Hydra and hopefully a Superman statue in the future because I will not be going back to get that Superman hunch. It's too expensive. All right. So without further ado, let's get into the last category, that being the best statue company of the year. Now, this the, this category here is very, um, it's very different. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's kind of subjective. It depends on a lot of people's collections, what they like to collect. They like to collect third scales. They may probably might like Prime One a little bit more if they like to collect quarter scale. They might like Sideshow a little bit more. It's a little bit more affordable. Um, Queen Studio is somewhere in the middle. So uh, it can really go anywhere. So I'm very excited to report on the results of this. So let's get into the nominations. Nominations for the best company of the year include Prime One Studio, Sideshow, Queen Studios, Tweeterhead, and XM Studios. Now, this could literally go to anybody. I mean, like I said, it's all subjective. But the winner of this category is going to be XM Studios. Listen, I get it. I think one of the reasons why XM Studios is the winner of the, for this category is because if you post something in the XM Studios Facebook chat, you're gonna get feedback. You're gonna get a response from the owners of the company. They're gonna tell you why they made this decision. They're gonna change things when they need to be changed. For example, there's an Archangel that's coming out from XM Studios quarter scale. The paint job of it was off. And when I say off, I mean it wasn't all the way accurate from the comics. There was a piece that was blue that was supposed to be purple or vice versa. 
They showed the reference material, said, hey, this would probably be changed. Let's get this changed just before the production. And what did they do? They said, absolutely, you're right. That's something that we missed. They made the change, showed that they made the change. And they said, hey, we're going to push this out probably about another month to make that quick change. And it's going to go out with a new update. I've never heard of such quick and rapid feedback. And uh, it's just a very agile environment, man. Um, you get real-time feedback, and XM Studios, they're doing phenomenal work over there. I'm waiting for them to go ahead and start showing their one-fourth scale DC uh, classic line. I think we should see start seeing a little bit more of that here soon. They've been teasing a flash here. Should be very interesting. But that's going to be the best company of the year. Let me know in the comments. Did you guys think any of these categories, if you thought the winner should be something else, if, you, if your guesses were spot on, let me know in the comments. But again, thank you guys for voting. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next year, man, you guys be safe. Be good. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. The nominations for best one-third statue. Statue. Whoa, I don't know what I just said. That's crazy. The nominations for breast one third scat scat you I said scat you what is a scat you fam <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs>